All right, we got a long piece. Dude, is that just beautiful? Now there's just thousands and thousands of babies. See how in that hole right there I'm putting water? <laughs> got him! No em. way, there actually is a baby. Got him, dude! What are you doing on this side of the yard, buddy? What in the heck? You're lost or something? Yeah, we did some donuts out here, if, if you couldn't tell on this side of the yard. What is going on, Kafros? Welcome back to another video here today. We are going to be making a trap, a fish trap for the backyard pond over here. James and I are going to be making a trap for us. So we're going to go to Home Depot. We have no idea what we're going to make. Get uh, probably PVC or something like that. Make something out of that and then throw it in that pond and try to catch some tilapia. It's going to be an interesting video. Please stay tuned because whatever we catch out of there, we're going to be feeding to the fish. I think we're going to catch some sick stuff, dude. I think we're going to catch some insane stuff. Whether it's big tilapia, small tilapia, maybe we'll catch something that we don't even know is in that pond. And that's probably what's going to happen knowing my luck. So <laughs> stay tuned. See y'all in, uh, in a little bit at Home Depot. All right, we're here. Got everything. Locked and loaded. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is why we don't get a lot of filming here. <laughs> All right, we got a long piece. Three quarters of an inch PVC. And look at all these elbows. Bunch of fittings. We got eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> and in order to make this trap, you need eight of these. A long piece of PVC and uh, netting. Plus zip ties, we already have zip ties at home. So those are your few little things to make uh, the exact trap that we're making. They're gonna need this too. Oh yeah, and you need a PVC, you cut a PVC cutter. And right here, half inch mesh. This is what we're gonna wrap around and then zip tie around our little fish trap here. This is gonna be super cool though. Like for real, I've never done anything like this, but I know it's gonna work because they won't see the black netting. And when there's food inside something, they're gonna find any way to get inside that little trap. That's the goal here. The tilapia are not the smartest creatures, and as you know, there's thousands of them in that backyard pond. It's gonna be interesting. You ready, James? I'm ready. All right, let's, let's catch some it. fish. Let's do it. Here we are, back in the workshop. We're gonna call it the workshop. It's actually the kitchen, but we're gonna call it the workshop. This is where we're gonna build the trap. <laughs> oh. It's not really a workshop, but <laughs> we'll make it work. All right, we have a measuring tape. We're gonna measure, say about 20 inches. 20 inches. PVC cutters. These things are just fabulous. Watch this. Look at that. Dude, is that just beautiful? It's absolutely stunning. Now we do this. You need about four, right? How many do you need? Yeah, we're gonna do the side smaller though. Probably should have bought some more PVC. <laughs> I know, I was just about to say, we're gonna, if we screw this up one time, we gotta go back to Home Depot. <laughs> Make it just a little easier. One piece like this. Another small piece. Larry? Yeah, oh, by the way, got some cool news outside. Larry is actually running free with the other chickens right now. We'll go show you all that in just a second. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> bit uneven. <laughs> she'll, she'll It'll work. She'll Gosh, we need one more piece. No, we have enough. No. Or we needed one more piece. Mm. He's, this one more piece. might. This is where the math comes into my head. We're doing math right now. We're not very good at math. We're both not right, but it's gonna work. I think we have a finger. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Look at that. Look Check that out. Like a glove. Like a flipping glove. Hey, and it's actually kind of square. And it's actually a real square now. So, step one is done. Now we're going to make sure we got. Almost. <laughs> Four legs, right? Now we're looking like a real trap here. We got corner pieces here. Let's put all these in. Bam. 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 This is a real trap. This is like actually gonna work. Yes. Yeah. Mmm. This is not yeah, good. You always gotta have electrical tape. You know? Oh yeah. I mean, dude, I would say we're probably one of the best trap builders out there. <laughs> <laughs> Improvising. We duct tape we'll two together. After. Duct just after. Paul just went and took this extra piece out of his, I think it was his plumbing to make sure we had extra piece. <laughs> I had this huge. <laughs> All right, 
Don't eat this. Oh, right into the wall. Oh, you just cracked the wall. <laughs> oh, we yeah, it's in the pool. All right. James and I have somehow put together, with the amount of PVC, we had this cube right here. For what we had, that's pretty, it's pretty, pretty good. I think we're gonna catch something, to be honest. Now, the phone zip ties. ties. Where's the... Where's the net? Netting. Oh, I know where it is. Magician Paul, back at it again. Uh, this just appeared in my hands, I don't know how. Just secrets, like I said before. I think it was the hat. Yeah, with this mess, we can catch anything between small and... Up to the big, big nuggets. All right, so the plan is, we got our trap here. You saw us build this. We got netting. This like, it's like a rubber mesh. And uh, we're gonna actually just line it around the trap like this. And then zip tie the sides. Look how satisfying that is. ASMR for y'all. <laughs> Do it every once in a while on this channel. Look at that. So now we gotta make sure it's on there good. So let's actually use the other side since it wants to curl this way. All right, and uh, with just a little bit of zip tying, this trap will be finished. So three, two, one. Magician Paul is back with uh, this time a functioning trap. It's all zip tied up at the top where it's the flattest. We're literally just gonna go. Look at that. Look at that going this. Came out good, huh? Throw your food in. The fish are gonna go in, and they're gonna just swim around. And it's very possible for them to swim back out because it is a good hole. But a lot of the times they're gonna go to the bottom and try to push their way out, and that's not where the hole is. You see? What's the chances that of all these corners right here, they're gonna find that one? See, you barely can find it yourself. That one hole right there. So there's a good chance that they can swim out, but we're gonna pull it up when we see anything go in. All right, we're back outside here, and you guys haven't seen the animals in a little bit. I've been posting a little less on YouTube, and people are like, hey, why aren't you posting as much? YouTube, I don't want to just like throw videos out. I want to do like quality over quantity, if you get what I'm saying. So we're trying to make as many videos as we can while doing other things. If you follow me on Instagram, at Paul Farrell, you know what those other things are. This right here is the farm. If you guys are new here, once again, welcome. There's some crazy stuff back here. But we got six pigs. This is the family of pigs, the mom, the dad, and they had four babies. But you guys know, Larry, Larry the rooster over there. See him over there? He's very aggressive, super mean. I locked him in that cage for a couple weeks to kind of like put him in jail to show him like, hey, look at all these chickens having fun roaming around you and you're stuck in a cage. To teach him a lesson, guess what? I put him out two days ago and he hasn't done a single thing to any other chicken. So the lesson was taught. It was like putting a chicken in jail. You get what I'm saying? And it worked. It literally worked. Not harming anyone. Ready? <laughs> he hates when you call him out, dude. Chow went away. By the way, I also put this wood all the way down the fence because they like to like push their nose out and break the fence and dig out and sometimes just roam this part of the yard, which they're not allowed in. I also don't want them to get out and go out there because, you know, we've had that experience one time with Daisy. One of the newer pigs got out. We actually ended up finding her over Facebook. Lost to pets, like, on, like, around me. Thank gosh. But we don't want that to happen again. So I went out. I bought wood. Put all that wood all the here as you can see all the way down the fence now this right here is waterfowl food here's how i feed these things every morning this goes with the trap that's why i'm explaining it i get a little scoop so the ducks are all waiting right there i go like this look at them all all the other birds right into the water right and they start eating now if you were to keep that camera there long enough you would see tilapia start coming up and eating a couple months ago, I put tilapia in there, about 24 of them, full grown, breeding female and males. Now there's just thousands and thousands of babies. This trap we made, James and I, is hopefully to catch those babies that we can then feed to the pool pond over here. This is like our little breeding section in order to feed the farm. Come on, Bailey, what do you find? What do you see? Always plays with the swan, every time. We're not going deep with this. We're gonna put it literally right here where it's still a little bit clearer we can see. Now that it's in the water, I could throw the food in, just like that. Float you right see on how top it floats at the top? Dude, it's gonna take a while. We're gonna have to come back here in a couple, like, in like an hour or two. See the deal? So they're just gonna see the food on the surface in there. They're gonna go in, little do they know, it's a trap. They might just think it's structure, like a hole, a rock. But for us, we can easily see into that trap right here. This is one of my favorite things to do. Create something your own, build it yourself. Little DIY project. <laughs> fish trap with a friend you know just chilling and just test the waters and just test the waters see if you can catch any fish 
Might catch a cup of coffee. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> catch a cup of coffee. coffee. Let's see. And uh, the best part is in Paul's backyard. Yeah, it's his it's big. It's his pond. own pond. It literally, we're catching I think fish in his own pond. the first time a YouTuber's done it. YouTubers do like the canal. We have a canal along the whole entire house. I just didn't want to put this trap in there because I want to try to catch something in my own pond. This is literally a pond I put fish in, bred the fish, and now I want to see if I can catch them. Do you see that smoke? A burning fire. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Look, they're still eating the pellets. So many on the surface. Do you, you see them all? All that. There's thousands of babies. Dude, so we had, dude, to, we had to have caught a few. There's no way we did. All right, so making our way downtown. Walking fast. <laughs> Face is passing. I'm home now. Probably. <laughs> Got no way. There actually is a few. Got him there, dude. There's a few. Oh, there's more than a few. There's like two. Oh. Don't out of my, don't out of my Yo, head. look how tiny they are. There's so many, bro. No, no, look how tiny they are. I've never seen them this small. Yo, they're microscopic. David, look how small. Oh my god. Dude, if this many went in here. Wait, that mesh is like. It almost can go through the mesh. They're look so tiny. Okay, dude. one. Holy crap, got a lot more than I thought. There's like t at least 10 in there. I'm su I'm surprised that we got this many, to be honest. But, dude, there's Four. so many on the surface. You had to you had to have over a thousand in this pond. Yeah. And these fish will actually get. I'm curious to see how big these, these little guys will get eventually. Dude, look at them all. Alright, here's all the ones we got. How many? One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten days. And look, there's still a lot of food in there, too. Because once the food hits the water, it expands, and it actually can't fit through this half inch. Look at these guys, they're pretty too. This one's making noises. See the stripes it's going so down? Weird. Look at that, they got a nice little gold tint to them. Ten little Look fishies. <laughs> One swim out? Yeah, out of my hand, but I was, I was giving a little revive. I was reviving them. Not nine fish. <laughs> All right, this might... time I'm going to throw it out. I think it floats though, so it might not work. But you can see him, you see him, see him blowing up right there. See him? Look how many! Dude, there's ones that are the size of minnows. I want to see a bedding tilapia. Yeah, PVC floats. That's not gonna work. <laughs> we have wild conks out here in Florida. I just found one in my yard, actually. I don't know what that is. It's a big shell. Let's see if it sinks. That ain't enough! Sergeant. This is them right here. These little pellets get these fish going crazy. Oh my gosh, look how dope that is. I put the cup in there, and then I went, and they, floated out. and they all came out of the cup. Now look how many baits are in there. There's so many in there. I'm surprised a turtle hasn't came by yet. I know, I saw one on the bank earlier, a big guy, but. There's a ton of them in here. I think it was like 13 turtles, but those babies and stuff. Oh. <laughs> look at them. What are you doing, Bubba? Get a little back up. You missed the hose. The hose is out of this thing now. You guys are water fiends right You're now. Hot. See how in that hole right there, I'm putting water? There was no mud, so they were all going crazy. They were going in the water bowl. Is this funny or what? Duke's got the water going down his back. He's like, mmm, this feels good. She's, she's making a hole that she could bury herself. Look at that. Oh my gosh, she's like, yeah, cold water. That water's cold, so she loves it. Lulu. Look how dope that is. They get that coat of dirt on That's them. So cool, they, they stay cool. Yeah. She love it. Look at her dig, dude. Right? She's, She's literally she digging. That's so cool. And then rubbed it all over her face. <laughs> it also keeps the flies off. See that? Oh my gosh, there I want to just ate it. That is all I got for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet to do so already, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit it for me. Would you want to see some more videos with the traps? Maybe making different traps? You let me know in the comments down below. He said like the video and make sure your post notifications are turned on. So click that bell after you hit the subscribe button. You'll notify every time I upload things like this. And today's Project Comment shout out goes out to literally every single one of you because the support on PolkFarrellBrand.com has been insane lately. 25% off the entire site. I mentioned it on my Instagram. We took some bomb pictures. Here they are. Well, there's one. There's two. Yeah. There's three. Crazy, crazy pictures of the merch. Rep it, let everyone know, 25% off the entire site right now. Polkforabrand.com, everything. What's on the back of this? Work hard, stay strong. And I go by that right there. Work hard, stay strong, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. James over here, help me with today's video. 
go check out his channel it is linked down below he's just starting up but he does a ton of stuff on the water like foiling surfing if you are into anything on the water you can check him out his links are down below and his uh, icon will also be at the end of the video thank you so much for watching thanks james dude Pre oh oh god ah! <laughs> wait let's redo that pleasure dude pleasure pleasure is always good. no problem brother thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out